such a fantastic, such a vibrant lady, and I love the advice she's given the Gen Z, you know, people her age, like, you know, she has so much great energy, and I think we should emulate a lot from her. Thank you so much, my Makayai, for coming, and of course, gracing our studios this evening, and happy uh, Mashuja Day to you and all the other fantastic people who you work with and have worked with for so many years. Congratulations to you, and thank you for what you do. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, it's that time for the night of the night that we get to hear from the English master himself talking about, of course, Willis Ocheng joining us from Kisi County. We had a bit of trouble earlier, but not to worry. These things happen. But now we have him loud and clear. Willis, it's good to see you tonight once more. How are you doing? Uh, how was your week? It was a very eventful week for us as Kenyans. <laughs> My week was great. Mm -hmm. It was a very busy one, whatever we have been watching or following. Yes, but good. mine as a person was great. And before I say anything, Betty, yes. just allow me to recognize that Mama Kayai. Yes. I have watched that lady for years. I started watching her as a young man. And I think some of these Kenyans are just exceptionally great. Absolutely. Imagine you were watching him, well, sorry, watching her when you were a young man. I was watching her when I was a young girl. So <laughs> it's just such a generational, <laughs> you know, excellence and, you know, brilliance, you know, whatever she does for Kenyan television. <laughs> An excellent lady. Absolutely. We really applaud her and everybody else who are just like her. All right, so Willis, I want to get straight to my words. First of all, when I was coming to work, I had an argument with somebody and we're asking, when you, when you want to say, like, say duality of a man, is it duality or, or duality? Is, what is it, Willis? Duality or duality? You, say, you begin with du, uh -huh. du, duality, oh. duality. Duality. So, from the word dual, then you come to duality. Okay. Then when you come to the American English, Betty, yes. you'll hear of duality, do without that glide, okay. du. Okay. But in RP, you mm -hmm. say duality with a stress on a. Uh. Ality. Okay, got it. Thank you so much. I think I won the bet, so I appreciate you. So, Willis, moving on to my words to Dr. Mia Commission. <laughs> All right, Willis, moving on to my first word. Uh, let me just spell it out. D-E-C-I-S-I-O-N, Willis. Do we say decision, decision, or decision? How do we go about that one? Betty, the verb is decide, mm -hmm. to decide something or to decide on something. Mm -hmm. But when you come to this noun form, you say decision, decision, mm -hmm. uh -huh. not decision the way many people say it mm -hmm. or decision. It's decision, <laughs> decision. Decision. Good. Thank you so much. People say decision. Yes. <laughs> so thanks for that, Willis. <laughs> You know, the kind of people who say this is on. <laughs> okay. Yes, it happens, Betty. Sometimes, yeah. you know, there are certain things we call the environmental factor. There are certain things that you can't avoid. Like yeah. the first language, you know, influence or what we call language transfer. Sometimes okay. if somebody is used to talking a certain language, Kiswahili, yeah. or when you come to Luo language and all that, you may go with the phonological, you know, mm. uh, influence that is in the other language. We call it language transfer, but the pronunciation of that word, Betty, is decision in English. So oh. let English be okay, English. Okay, thank you, Willis. You're right on that transfer. Okay, moving on to this other one. Do we say prejudice? Uh, do we say prejudice? How do we go about that one, Willis? Oh. Betty, that word has done or has been doing the rounds this week a lot. Now, you say prejudice, not prejudice. Mm -hmm. To be prejudiced, mm -hmm. dist, not diced. Okay. Prejudiced, no. Prejudiced, yes. Okay. Prejudice, yes. Prejudice, no. Okay, prejudice, got you. Moving on to this other one. Um, do you say premise, premised? How do we go about that? That's P-R-E-M. I S E D. How do we go about that one, Willis? Betty, you say premise to begin with. Mm -hmm. Premise. It is premised on something, not premised mm -hmm. or premised. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people find themselves trying to be too stylish mm -hmm. and ending up making certain pronunciation or even grammatical errors or mm -hmm. mistakes. But the simple pronunciation of that word is 
premised. It is premised on such and such a thing. All right. Okay, Willis. So I think uh, at this yes. juncture, I'd love you to continue with the, with the words that, of course, we've gotten from our oh, audience. Okay. I know from last week you had so many. So how do we go about today? Betty, do you know what I want to begin with? Yes, please. Kevin Osido. Uh -huh. Someone called Kevin Osido oh, Kevin brought Osido. that issue Very of oh, deputy, yes. deputy, <laughs> deputy, 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 deputy. So Kevin deputy. and every other person yes. you say deputy, yes. deputy. There is uh -huh. even someone who asked me last week if you say DUPT. DUPT, I have never heard of that. <laughs> deputy, no. That's you simply surprise. say deputy. Then, deputy. dear viewers, Please, when you talk about the head of a country mm -hmm. or the leader of a country or nation, mm -hmm. please avoid saying president. Mm -hmm. You can talk of to set a bad or a good president, mm -hmm. but please don't say president so and so. Mm -hmm. No, you say president so and so. Then okay. to set a precedent. Oh. I hope you get the difference. Got then you, I also have to recognize at Miss Muamidi. Emmanuel Swaka and David Munyao, who also brought some weight on deputy. Natasha Ali of Kisi, you say pursuant or pursuant. Eddie Chege, if you like, Chege of Vika, you say ideological, not ideological. Ideological, no, not in English. You say ideological. Then clause, clause, not clause. Isaac Karaoke of Nakuru, you say bold and feud. Feud, not feud. Then we have Aneta Kidiego of Nairobi, you say limb. Limb, the B is silent. Don't say limb. Limb, no, not in standard English. Then Aneta, you also say parliament. Parliament, not parliament that we commonly use innocently. And that is because of what we commonly hear around us. Then we have honorable. Honorable, not honorable. Then we have Zacchaeus Gondwe and Naema Mambo of Arusha, Tanzania. I also salute you for loving TV 47 and this program that much. Titus Bravo, you say stabilize, to stay, not stop. Stabilize, that verb. Then Brian Odeo, you say pluck and synecdoche. Synecdoche, a very tricky word. Synecdoche, not synecdoche. Synecdoche. I hope you get it right. Then, Betty, it's now time that I would like to go to that word that people can try their tongues with. Dear viewers, can you try wherever you are? Mm -hmm. And Jewelry. whoever you are? <laughs> Jewelry, jewelry, and all that. A mm -hmm. very tricky word this one is. You say jewelry. What? Jewel. Jewelry. <laughs> jewelry. Mm -hmm. Not jewelry not jewelry i hope betty you said jewelry because of what we commonly hear around us because well, i heard you <laughs> saying jewelry the other day very clearly and that is where sometimes <laughs> i also give you a big salute when it comes to matters of english now Thank you. you say jewelry, jewelry jewelry and then don't say jewel mm -hmm. you say jewel jewel not jewel, jewel. anyway oh. let's get to our surprise word for tonight this one is the word for you. Common, but mm -hmm. tricky in sounding. You say preference. Preference, not preference. Mm -hmm. Preference, very common, but wrong. Avoid it in standard English. You say preference. Preference. You can see the phonetic transcription that I have used at the bottom or mm. at, or that is below the word itself. Mm. Now, preference, not preference. Just like you say Present, present, mm. but you say presentation, not presentation. Presentation, okay. no. Presentation, yes. Present as a verb, yes. Okay. Anyway, now, let's say, sometimes maybe you want to find out this word is really disturbing me or disturbing your friends, or sometimes you hear it in a very, very you know, high profile, you know, talk and all that. Please, just send that word either to at Betty M. Kialo, Yes. You can also send it to at TV47 News. And then throughout the week, you can also choose to send the word straight to my ex handle, and that is at Willis Oshieng1. <laughs>
Betty, many people like calling me <laughs> Willis Ocheng One. Yes. I don't know why. It could be because of this. Because you're number Willis one. one. <laughs> you're number one in pronunciation. Then they tell me, thank you for that, but yeah. I have to salute them and we have to help one another or each other. But learning never ends. There is no full stop to learning. Mm -hmm. And dear viewers, you can never be spotless or perfect when it comes to using any language, not even your mother tongue. Otherwise, Absolutely. Betty cannot take us through <laughs> the remaining part. Asante Sana Willis, that was a great, great lesson. I love the jewelry, reminding people and all these other ones, prejudice and not prejudice. Really appreciate you, Willis. Looking forward to seeing you again next Friday. Always looking sharp and with the sharpest of pronunciations. <laughs> Thank you, Betty, and I also salute you for what you are when it comes to the great presentation, very clear in terms yes. of delivering the yes. intended messages. That Thank is a plus on your part. Thank you very much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. Willis Ocheng joining us from Kisi County. Of course, uh, helping us to pronounce English properly. Uh, and as we've had, we say jewelry. Now see, jewelry. <laughs> All right, so that's where we close our show tonight. It has been such a complete honor and joy being your host tonight. I appreciate your presence. So I'll see you again next Friday. God willing, till then you have to be kind to one another. And of course, remember the good stuff stuff is about to happen. We're about to start dancing here in the studio. Cato C to Try 47 with Shiksha. Um, it's going to be a fantastic show. Thank you and uh, don't don't go away. Shiksha na kuja pana squad ya to dance. All right, see you again next Friday. Bye-bye.